Big announcement yesterday, is he? Oh yeah, big announcement. Um, so I'll be fighting against uh, Paul Costa September 19th. Disclosure on location is yet to be confirmed. Ah, oh, no. We have it, but I can't say it yet just because we announced the date for the... Yeah, I think it should be New Zealand, but if it can't be, maybe Fire Island. We'll see. Wow. Well, that's big news for us to keep an eye on. Uh, I mean, probably uh, the chances are really hard to because uh, these shows are already planned in advance and a lot of money is already been put in it, you know, in the shows. So, yeah, but we'll see. And it's been a long time coming, you know, <laughs> the longest build up that you've ever had. I think so. I was trying to go on and on this year like I did in my first and second year of my years of career. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Uh, pandemics happen and then kind of uh, yeah, put a pause on things and other things as well behind the scenes but yeah we're here now on a regular fight up in training cool um the how much the, does the COVID affected this gym uh not at the moment not too much i think everyone we're pretty blessed to just be able to mingle and not social distance anymore because we squash the crowd but um, yeah, I can I can have a full camp. I've already been in front of camp anyway, so I can keep up with the So how long is it now? Yeah, it's been, I've been training for the last five weeks. Yeah, yeah, just gradually building up. Only thing is, I won't have guys like Frankie come in, um, because I like I like having them in my camps. Um, yeah, I'm Andre. Yeah, I've got some other great wrestlers here as well. But, and uh, there was always a little bit of. Uh, Heated bad blood between the pair of you. Has that been carrying on? Yeah, I mean, he, I mean he's, he's been doing it by himself. I haven't really, I've kind of just like, I'll let him practice his Twitter, um, English or whatever, broken English. Uh, but yeah, the fights, there's going to be signs in there. Once it's signed, then I'll go at it. <laughs> and. You know, you make predictions, and I always ask you what the Izzy threat meter is. He's a very threatening guy, but he's, like, he's a threatening guy if you look at him and you consider that as a threat. Let's look at the skills. The skills are really down here. He's got like four or five good moves. Really good moves that he uses. Apart from that, I don't really see anything that uh, I haven't seen before. But when it comes to me and what he's seen before, hasn't. It's maybe the jab, he's never seen a jab like this. The movement I'm gonna bring. And also he thinks he keeps I like the skinny uh, metaphor he keeps using. Call me a skinny boy, skinny boy on my head. The last person that called me a skinny boy, you saw what happened to him. And I told him before the fight, let's go bitch, I'll show you who's skinny. I'm gonna show this guy who's skinny. Um, another thing that would be in your favor um, Eugene's been away, he'll be back yeah, next he'll be week. Back next week. Yeah, so that's why we pushed the fight back actually. It was going to be in August but because of uh, the quarantine and also the fights he had to go corner. We um, pushed the fight back to September so that way we could uh, get a proper synergy going between me and him. Hey, Izzy, thanks for talking to us so early with, after the announcement and uh, we'll keep. I just keep. Tony Rob TV, Combat TV. <laughs> thanks, mate. Hey,